Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 2018 with the first stage of the Tour de France 2018. It is pancake flat, it is 193 kilometers long and we are trying to give Movistar another shot at the Tour de France with their aging riders. All right. Well, let's hear what the commentators have to say about this stage. Welcome to the Vendée for the start of 105th edition of the Tour de France. The 189 kilometer route from Noirmoutier Lille to fontenay le comte is as good as flat. That should delight the sprinters. But given that the coast will be in view for much of the race, their plans could be upset by the wind. That fact would have escaped the baroudeurs, who could try an early breakaway. The many holiday makers who flock to the local beaches should enjoy an interesting day's racing. All right, everything is set up. Here we take off. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's see how many milliseconds it takes before their first escapees go. Oh, there they come. There they come. If at all possible, we, of course, don't want to, uh, like, hammer it in the early stage. So I want to yo-yo a bit back and forth. Because that pace is too much. That is too much. Oh, this is a crazy constellation. <laughs> that that pack up front so has become so the large. The first group that has tried has been caught. But it can't take long before the next ones take off. Yeah, two guys up front there. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they, they know how to ride too. Uh, it looks like the race has settled. Yes. They have settled on five riders being up front. Let's see who those guys are. Oh yeah, definitely some solid, solid riders in here. Yeah, okay. By the way, something I haven't mentioned yet. I'm going to play this all on hard difficulty with two times the falls. Yes, fall frequency times two. Because that is a little bit more realistic. Because the Tour de France is known for its carnage. And there we go, <laughs> just but where I'm saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. So the escapees have currently four minutes on the clock. Very, very controlled. 120 kilometers left he to go. And another and little fall. And that is definitely something you're going to see in the first stage of the tour as well. Very, very controlled by the peloton. There's nothing the escapees can do on this first stage. But the intermediate sprints are massive when it comes to points. So if the um, lead group is small enough, then you will see some pretty good sprinting, even for the intermediate sprints. Because look at that. So many points. Down to 15th. Wow. Uh-oh. And now it starts raining. That means even more falls. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, less than 50 kilometers left to go. Only 1 minute 36 on the clock. I don't think that's too wise. Uh, and I don't think that's something we would see in the tour. I think they would be hovering. Uh, let them hover around 2 minutes 30 or 2 minutes. Because 44 kilometers away. They, the, basically, the tactics would be... You want to keep them far enough away so that no one can jump to the group in the front from the field. Fresh legs. Um... But then again, first stage, I don't think anyone would be stupid enough to try. Oh, and now the front runners up in the lead group, they are attacking each other. Interesting. So that group won't hold. No, no, the favorites is giving an inch. Oh, wow. Okay. Now we are riding hard. It's only 12 kilometers left to the line and they've definitely started moving. So what is my strategy here? You might ask. Well, I think what I'm going to do is to use Valverde to try and grab a few points. Because I mean, he has a plus one for the day, which means that it is... He gets plus two to sprint. 74. I don't know. He doesn't have any chance, but he could grab a few points. Also, he might uh, thusly stay away from uh, falls that happen a little back. Because it gets a little nervous there in the end stages. Uh, let's try to move him to the front. 8.5 kilometers left to go. There are the escapees. Or oh, what is left of them. Ah, 
Looks like no one wants to, to help on that up front here. Can't even assign them as protection. Hmm, maybe that's because of the follow command. Well, I'm trying to grab a good rear wheel here. No, not, not that of Bob Jungles. Only 2.2 kilometers left and we are in a perfect position up front. Okay. Two kilometers left, they are still not sprinting. I have one of the best rear wheels in the field. I think I can just try to hang in here. If that is even possible. I mean, he has the acceleration, but not the top speed. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Now the guys up front. Okay, okay, this is looking good. This is looking good. He can keep up. He can keep up. Oh, he's... But he's stuck. He is stuck. 900 meters to go. There, there we go. Now we need to sprint. Come on. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Alvada, come on. Uh, oh, that, is, that isn't too bad. That really isn't too bad. Yeah, seventh. Nice. And here we have the results from the first stage. Uh, the usual suspects are up front. And for the uh, sprint jersey standings, it looks like this. 57 points. Ooh, that's a lot of points you can grab up there. A little bit of a disappointment for Peter Sagan. But he uh, did get a few points during the intermediate sprint as well. We were in front of him even with Valverde here. That's, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Well, of course, no time differences after the first stage because uh, there are no bonus time. There's no bonus time at uh, the finish. Okay, well, that concludes the first stage of this tour. Well, pretty standard mass sprint finish. Nothing, nothing really strange about it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time. <laughs>